this is something special. I spoke to uh, JW from Fnatic and they all said the same thing. This guy is a, a stone cold killer. I just got totally destroyed by him. Everything is flowing, it's like Kung Fu. I was thinking maybe he should uh, really go for it. I was like, what is this? This can't be true, you know? Everyone knows him, oh, this is the guy. He's gonna be, you know, probably one of the best players in the world. He hits a crucial off shot. Golo's still on it and the defuse is good. Big smiles on their face. He is one of the youngest players to make it to the big leagues. He started playing CS when he was four and has been seen as a wonder child of the industry for the last year. He is predicted to be one of the top five players in the world within two years. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show This is How I Found My Magic, where we will visit some of the most interesting people in the esports scene. We're going to get real with them, we're going to find out what makes them tick. This time around, we're visiting Ludwig Brolan Brolin here in Stockholm. He is a 15-year-old CSGO player. He's a prodigy. People are saying he's the next big name. We're going to find out about his journey to the top. And this is, this is where the magic happens, huh? Yeah. You just uh, spend all your hours over here? Mm -hmm. I started playing CS when I was four years old. I think it remember one time I I walked into my older brother's room and I said something like I wanted to test it. What, what is it that you love about Counter-Strike? What, what part of it? I think it's like Counter-Strike is a, like a team game. I love team game. You need to be very good friends and not have like something, maybe not personal things against each other. It's very hard to put five guys in team and you need to work hard. Like beginning of Godsend, have learned me so much from like teach me how to play together with the team. They're very good and talented players. Uh, I was so shocked because I don't know why they wanted me. So my impressions are um, as kind of foreseen. He's very very shy. I feel like when uh, uh, he's talking about the game and about things around the game when it comes to. Uh, Twitch things, Counter Strike things, and you can see that he's really in his element. He kind of shines up about other things he's not too interested in, which is uh, very common for someone that is 15 years old. I remember being the same. All I wanted to talk about was games, and all I wanted to think about was games. What makes you different? What makes you so damn good? Would we be able to call it talent? Mm, yeah, most of the guys that are calling me the Swedish talent, so maybe. I think that's a good title to have the Swedish talent. Roland, um, I heard of him uh, when I was playing myself. I play some Counter-Strike still, and I played some Pugs, and uh, we faced uh, Brolan, you know, several times. And I, you know, I browsed, uh, looked for some info online on him, and I saw that he was 14 years old. So I'm like, what is this? This can't be true, you know? He, only 14 years old and, and just crushing us. And, you know, there were <laughs> pretty good players I played with, and he just destroyed us. So uh, I instantly thought that he must be cheating, you know. I didn't know that uh, Ludwig was a such talented player. When he was little, he said that he was going to be a proffs. And then he said that he was going to be a little bit. But today, he is a proffs. In and while Brolin just styling at the moment. Brolin, as a player, he's probably one of Europe's best entry fraggers right now. One skill he has is that he never gets nervous. And that uh, can really separate him from, you know, all the other players in the world, basically. So Ludwig, I wanted to know more about the people that support you. Man. Who else uh, is important to you? Oh, my dad. He supports me a lot. He's like, I call a fanboy or something. <laughs> so your father is your, your biggest fan, you would say? <laughs> yeah. He watches every game or well, yeah, how does he support you? Yeah. He's watching like Kaiser TV more than me, so. <laughs> when uh, Ludwig wants to talk about his CS, he comes to me, and I think then I'm always listening, of course. Does he ever come to you and tell you, oh, this guy did wrong, you should do this? Does nah. he ever give you tips? He's not like that good <laughs> on CS, but. Okay. But I'm trying to not uh, make him notice me watching everything. <laughs> but it's very interesting. I, I think it's very nice to follow him, of course. 
I'm very proud of it. So this is your school. It looks like a classic Swedish school. Yes. I'm curious, how do you piece it together? You go to school and you uh, practice as much of, uh, as the rest of your team. How do you piece it together? Like I've been of this year or this season of the, of the school. My teacher helped me and I, I'm only going three hours per day. We have, from the beginning, always had our opinion clear about school. But we realized, of course, he must do this. He has to go for this, of course. You need to spend so much time if you want to be the best, and I want to be the best. My plan for him is just that he's going to play as much as possible, play in a team that he feels comfortable with, and uh, eventually, I mean, in a couple of years, I think he can be uh, at least one of the top three, top five best players in the world. All right, Ludwig, it was a pleasure to meet you. It was also a pleasure to find out how you find your magic. And I would like to wish you the best of luck in your future, man. Thank you. For me, he's just my little Lutte. And now we see him on TV, on scenes and everything, but you can't really understand. My predictions, uh, it has to be something that agrees with uh, the rest of the scene. I think this guy is going to be uh, the next big thing in the Counter-Strike scene. Mm -hmm.